Hello there guys and welcome to another charity find video. Um, I think I'm doing quite a few of these because I enjoy going out hunting for the items and I enjoy getting the values. This one was, uh, location was in Shirley near Southampton. Um, we pretty much did all the open charity shops in there. Um, and I think I did really well. Um, one I thought was brand new, it still is brand new, but it rattled a bit, so it's a bit dodgy, but it's still still quite a good, good little day. Um, total, I spent like £11 something, um, and I, sh I should quite easily make my money back on all this, to be fair. Unlike the previous one, where I was a noob and I just totally messed everything up. But I've kind of redeemed myself today. So we'll start off in the first sh charity shop. Um, this one I saw for one pound forty nine. Um, now I have opened it up because it was rattling, and I thought, oh, perhaps it's been worked on. But you still got all the bits and whatnot. Um, you got the glue, so it is brand new. Um, obviously, the box is is a bit tatty. Um, but yeah, it's basically that. I paid £1.49 for that. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant find. It was, again, it was one of them ones I was like, oh, shall I? You know, it's a bit risky. But I just went with my gut instinct. I was like, yeah, sorry, £1.49. I said, the box is a bit tatty, um, but you've literally got everything in there. Now, I have, I've had a look on eBay. Um, couldn't find any that's on there at the moment, which is good for me. And I think the last sold one was July. So uh, one of these haven't been sold for a very long time on it, on eBay anyway. So yeah, um, that was £8.50 um, for that, that was sold in July. I'm gonna try for about 10, 15 pound, I think on that. See if I can try and get some money on that. But for one pound forty-nine, it's good. Like I said, I'm not doing anything like really big hitters at the moment. Um, apart from one, one's just quite a big hit hitter today, which I'm really impressed with. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's more than what I paid for. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get anything huge, like again, like froggy flips. But I think I'm doing all right. So yeah, that's that's the first one I've got to get listed. Um, from the same cherry shop. Which one was it? I don't know, from the same charity shop. These, I just literally, I, I, I paid for that and then I was gonna head out the shop and I kind of saw something in my eye. And I'm glad I did, because I picked them up. Again, these were at £1.49. Um, and again, these just, uh, oh, they'll look pretty cool if they're cheap, we'll put them in the car. Um, but it's these. Team Fuzzy Dice. Yeah, um, and so you got the, the stick up there. Now I looked in the back and it said, I thought it said £8.99, $8.99. So these were actually bought in the, in the, in America. So yeah, I'm glad I, I picked these up. I've seen some dice on eBay sell for like, um, you know, 10, 15, 20 pound. The, these ones, different teams and whatnot. These ones on eBay, I've seen, and you can only get them from America, and they go for £26 plus, if you get them over here, plus £69 PMP. Don't know where they've got £69 PMP from, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I don't actually know what I'm gonna do with these. I'm probably gonna start a bid at like £15 um, and let it run its course, or I'm probably just gonna say like 40 quid. Um, you know, I, I think if someone over here wants them for that, they won't pay the 69 PMP. I think they'd rather pay 40 quid. So that's that's my options with that. It's either going to be a a bid starting at 10, 15 pound, or I think the better option, which I'll probably try first, is the 40 pound bite now. Um, so that was a very good, a, a very, 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 very good find today, I think. Um, and I'd say that'll pay for everything plus profit. 
Uh, next one was from the British Heart Foundation. <coughs> Again. Oh, got to get some mash. I don't think I can. Do you want to get the mash? You'll be fine. The camera's over here. Um, again, this was a kind of like, oh, shall I, shan't I? And I saw the price of two pound as I decided, well, risk it for a biscuit. Um, and it's an Adventure Time plush. Uh, is official. Uh, this was two pound from the British Heart Foundation. And with my comics, I know the um, Adventure Times sell really well. And they've got some good price on them. So again, it was just kind of like, I'm going to risk it. See how we get on. On eBay, I mean, they're not huge. I mean, the pink peas probably going to sting me, but it is what it is. Um, saw one on there for £12 and a penny. I don't know why pennies. Why not strain it up to £12? Couldn't see no tags on it, so I'm not sure if that's genuine or if it's fake. I'm not sure. And then I saw another one for £10 and £3.50 pnp. So my plan is I'm going to work it on for £12.50. Do some really nice pictures, make sure I've got pictures of the tags and everything. Um, and hopefully that sells for £12.50. So, you know, £2, £12.50, that's pretty damn good, I think. Um, and then lastly, um, one of these haven't got a lot of value, the other one did. But where it was like part one and part two, I thought I might as well buy both of them and you know try selling them as a pair so we have this tactics series one part one um, and series one part two now part one i've seen on ebay someone's got on there for six pound 55 this one is the one that's going to make the money is 11 pound 99 um, so yeah, three pound each. So my idea is I want to put, uh, put them both together, uh, 16 pound for the pair of them. So yeah, all in all, I think that was a bloody good day today for charity shop finds and whatnot. Definitely better than the ones we've got in Handover. But um, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it today, hunting for these things. I mean, we, was there, we left Handover at like nine, Quarter past nine, half nine, and we got back to Mandelver at about five. So we've had a really busy day, but I've enjoyed myself. Um, and I do like going in there hunting for these little bargains. So yeah, lots of a little bit more careful with what I bought today because I saw the Harry Potter Top Trumps um, tin set for like two pound. And then when I did a little research. Um, with the PNP &P and also the eBay fees, I probably would have ended up breaking even or losing money. So I'm glad I didn't pick that up. So I'm starting to get a bit more, a bit more wary of what I'm picking up and not just, oh, well, you know, I like that, so that'll sell. So yeah, I'm not guaranteeing these will sell, but I, you know, I sell them fluffy dice and that's it. That's today's and yesterday's lot all paid for. So that's all good. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. Um, if you are interested, if you want to, you know, have a look on my, my eBay store or eBay page, I don't call it a store because I'm not official, um, comment down in, you know, the comments down below and I'll, I'll start putting a link to uh, my eBay page in future videos and whatnot. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I shall speak to you all probably in about a week's time when I get one of the comics off eBay. Bye for now.